Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan. Today I have a special video um, continuing with the Worldwide Developers Conference, all everything that Apple released. Now I'm showing you, as you can see, Safari 4. It's been in beta for a while. It's finally out, and it's actually uh, fully downloadable. I don't know what that means, but it's, it's out, and you can download it right now. It's not out of beta. You don't have to worry. And uh, First impressions of this, it is just really awesome, really fast. So uh, let's get this one started. Okay, so the first thing that you will notice about Safari is that it is fast. I've been using Chrome for a while, and my main reason that I was using it is because it was fast, and I, uh, I really like a fast browser. I, I don't know any exact speed tests, so this is just kind of off my uh, my first impressions, but I want, I was kind of leaning towards saying that Safari is faster. Um, let me just show you. You can see here, Zidric, and... Uh, Looks very nice. Let me just show you a page in loading. Let me just open up uh, Yahoo. And you will see right off the back, done. That fast. Um, and then one of the really cool features, let me just show you this one real quick, is this is the top sites. Now, uh, Opera as well as Chrome have this feature where you can go ahead and... Uh, Add all your add all your favorite sites. It it adds them for you. Basically, the fa as every time you load a site, it will remember in the top sites that you load. Obviously, this is kind of a little blank right now, but uh, this is a really cool feature. And then another thing is, if you come down here to edit, I'm just going to show you this real quick. You can do it small. And this is the medium size, which w it would have 12 on here. Then you can add all of these, or you can do large and just have six. My personally, I like medium. That's the default. Go ahead and finish that up. Uh, now let me just show you a couple of the things. First, let me just show you a couple of the pages loading because this is just fast. I, <laughs> I mean, it is so fast. I mean, you can see, great. I mean, there's no problem with it at all. Uh, everything loads nice and smooth, and it is so fast. Um, I just show you this real quick, and you can see everything loads just great. Um, I can just, if I want to, I can watch that or whatever. I won't do it because it probably lags the computer. But and let me just show you a couple things. There is full tab support. And when you open a new tab, it will open the top sites. And if you hit the top site button up there, that will go ahead and just do it in the tab that you're in. You see those disappeared for a second. I'm not really, re actually really sure why. But, uh, and then let me just show you a couple of things. You can obviously, full bookmarks. You have your Google search here. And then you can come in here and customize. Let me just show you the customize the toolbar. This is a pretty cool thing. Basically, this is where you can just drag all your different things. Totally customize your toolbar. You can add everything from bookmark and address, report bugs, downloads, mail, some Zoom, autofill. I mean, it's 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 really pretty cool. Um, the default uh, I went ahead went ahead. The first thing I did was add the tabs. That's one of the bigger things. But uh, see, that's definitely one of the first things when you open it up. You go ahead and do that. Um, that, that's, I mean, there's not a ton. I mean, you'll see, Safari is not, it, Safari is not really a, it's a, I don't know what I'm saying to say, it's, it's full feature, it's just not that, it just doesn't have a lot of extra features that you might expect. Uh, now let me just show you a couple of things, and you see here, when you, in the top right, we just pull it right up, you see I'm right here, we can go ahead and search, uh, Apple, and, uh, if it's gonna load, we can go ahead and search it and just show you how, See, this is Bing, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you guys know all about. And you'll see that they have the 3GS already up. And uh, I've already done the thing on that. You guys can check it out. And uh, by the way, and then if you have Safari 3, or if you have an early Safari, or it's not 4 anyway, um, it will automatically update. But if you want to go ahead and get it right now, go on, come on in here to Apple.com, the downloads thing. I have the links and everything. And so go ahead and far. And then real simple, just hit download now. Go straight through it. And uh, you will get it. Obviously, it's going to be free. You'll set up in, uh, in Windows and Mac. Uh, obviously, there's not going to be Linux. Uh, as far as never had that. But, yeah, that's just about it. Um, I won't get too in-depth on this one. Uh, all I know is that this, I mean, I'm really, really impressed with this so far. And uh, I'm probably going to be switching from, my, uh, from Chrome to this. So, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend go check it out and see what you think. 
Be sure to check out Zizzard.com for the latest app reviews, iPhone and iPod Touch news, tips and tricks for your device, jailbreaking information, and more. Thanks for watching.